Hi, I'm Dr. Sinano, the Director of Clinical Support and Education at Avexia Diagnostics. As you most likely know, the awareness of H. pylori and gastrointestinal diseases has increased greatly over the years, with a strong correlation between the presence of H. pylori with gastritis, peptic ulcer disease, and gastric carcinoma. Now, with this information in mind, I want to talk to you about the H. pylori stool antigen test, which is an FDA clear test that directly measures H. pylori antigen in a stool. Now, this is a non-invasive test that uses enzyme immunoassay for the detection of H. pylori antigens. Test results can be used to diagnose H. pylori infection and to monitor patient response during and after treatment. Now, as you may know, other methods for detecting H. pylori infection include serological tests, the urea breath test, culture, histological examination, and also direct urease testing of biopsy tissue. However, each of these tests has certain drawbacks. The stool antigen test is a widely accepted, non-invasive, and simple option for patients, making it a good frontline diagnostic tool. This test is especially designed to identify current infection by detecting antigens that are produced by the live H. pylori bacteria and then shed into the stool. Additionally, stool antigen testing can reflect infections from the stomach to the duodenum, which may have an advantage over endoscopy. Now, before collection, it's important to know that antimicrobials, proton pump inhibitors, business preparations are known to suppress H. pylori, and the ingestion of these substances prior to H. pylori testing may give a false negative result. So be sure that these substances are avoided at least two weeks prior to collection. As always, I hope this information serves you and your patients well. Until next time, I wish you all the best personally and in practice.